Here's Moles Moan. Okay, um, I'm going to pause uh, for a second here and, and um, get set up to sh you know, show you a little closer, I guess in a little bit better visual way, what we're doing here. Okay, not much has changed. Um, hit on C. So here, here's, let me show you the chords first, the basic chords. These are the fundamental chords of the song. G, which is, this is a G tuning, okay, it's uh, the D string here, or the, excuse me, the, uh, normally the E string is tuned down to a D, normally this A string that is turned down, do, turned down to a G, and then this high, you know, the number one string, um, E, is tuned down to a D. The other three stay as in standard tuning, but you have an open G chord now. Um, so, this is the G, you know the G there, it's just everything's open. Now, um, you know how to do a regular C chord and standard tuning, right? Here, here, here. All right. Uh, first, fourth, and fifth uh, strings on the first, second, and third frets. Doesn't sound, sort of sounds like the C there, doesn't it? But not quite. All you do is... Take this finger instead of up here, move it down to the second fret. Now you got a C. Okay. It's a G, C. Okay. Now a, we're going to show you a D seventh first because this is used in the song. So a D seventh would be second string, first fret, just like the C chord. But now you're up here on the. Uh, fourth and, and uh, excuse me, third and fifth strings on the second fret with these two fingers. D seventh. If you want to put in another finger on the, that's some kind of
kind of a ninth or whatever, but okay, D seventh. So just remember, C, G, D, and any, any form you use actually will work in this song as a variation, but we're only going to use uh, multi or somehow figured out partial chords. Like he could, he could make this sound right by this is G up here. And this is a D seventh, back to a G. Just, and this is all on two strings with two fingers all the way down. Okay, anyway, well, let me go back, regress, digress for a second. Finger picking, you, you know what the basic Travis style is. You've got the thumb keeping the, the beat on, usually these three top strings, uh, four, five, and six, but it goes down to the, uh, to the third string sometimes, and occasionally for tricky parts, even the second string, but, but, you, but you still keep that steady rhythm pretty much through the whole song, and then, one or two or three fingers you can use for the uh, the melody part of it um, works just fine with just one finger. If I were doing one finger, I'd probably use the middle finger. Okay, um, but you could use the index finger. There's a lot of guitar good guitar players. Doc Watson uses only his index finger and his thumb for all his finger picking, and you know he does some really tricky stuff. But he's Doc Watson, and I'm not. So, uh, at any rate, if I started with my index finger, it would be like this, just to get you the picking pattern. And you can use any fingers that you want, though. It's it's just like a. Let's slow it down. It's pinch at first, to you know simultaneously, thumb and finger wherever you want to start. It's da 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 But if you want to use two or three fingers, you know, it's it, it's the same thing. It's Start here with the introduction as I showed you. And we get that first finger on the second string, first fret coming in. That's really part of a C chord. You could do two strings here. You could do your these two strings of the C chord. Okay, don't need the first string, but See how that sounds. I just use my index finger, just the one note, which I think is what Rush does. Four times on that. Then you go into the section where you you're coming up, down the neck in sequence, alternating the three chords. Not in any. Well, there is a particular order, but it doesn't just go. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so the first one is up here, twelfth fret, second and fourth strings, middle and third finger. Okay, those two strings. You got to have both of those strings ringing. And uh, I like to do the pinch to start it. And down two frets. This is a G chord. This is a D seventh. Let's see. Another G chord. Now you have to you slide your middle finger down, but your index finger has to come in here now on the second string because the middle finger can't reach that. So yeah, just these two fingers. And you're back to the same middle and ring finger. Down here, this is a C chord. It's just these two strings. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a D, a D chord again. D chord, not a C. We were up here on the. Uh, this is the G, D, G, D. Now we're back. 
back down here, these two strings on the fifth fret. It's a C, it's really part of a C chord. Then this is a little bit tricky. These two fingers again, uh, second and fourth strings, third and fourth frets. It's part of a D chord, okay. It's like a D augmented, I think. Or tempo, you're really doing three beats to the measure right here, and then hitting the last one down here on the sliding down two frets with these two same two fingers. That's a C position, lifting off and hitting it again. So it's now I'm going to just start here. I'm going to show you how it really starts, but I'm going to start up here just so you get the idea with the G and go down slowly. Got that down. It's this part right here, right after the C. You get, you get the. It's one da 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 da. Yeah, that's a slide on the fifth. Pluck the fourth with your thumb. Back to the fifth open. So get these two. Then you hammer on a C chord, all three finger, uh, two fingers, I'm sorry. You know, all three fingers. But most make sure you get that second string hammered. Okay, you don't need to really hammer the other two. measure. Go to the D seventh chord, block the sixth string, then the fourth string, and then the fifth string. I did that wrong both times. Here it is. Okay, so it's Hammer on the C, D chord, 6th string, 4th string, 5th string. Slide up on the 5th, just up, not beyond the 5th the fifth fret. Never slide up here beyond the 5th fret on any string down here. Then, after that section's over, this remember this ending. into the harmonics. Now we're up here on the 12th fret, third finger. Lightly touch the second string and immediately pluck it, immediately pull off. You can leave it there. You'll still hear it, but you, you've got to be doing other things, so this will get in your way if you leave it there. Okay. That's the opening pluck. Remember, you're doing this pattern now. That pattern well you start with your finger here and you'll hear that harmonic index finger here slide up two frets to the twelfth you, you, you pluck here and you slide up and remember you can then cat, catch the uh, first string up here right after you slide so it's slide back down it's that same pattern with the right hand so we're going to do this through this part Twice, and then now you got to switch gears here. 
little finger ring finger on that 10th fret to get same two strings one and two strings but now your ring finger has to come in here on the third string uh, ninth fret hear that and rush does something like this I'm going to show you the way I just do the individual notes, okay? You don't have to scratch, you know, do the double stop or scratch it with this. You can just pick it. Slide up on the first string. And it's, yeah. Okay, so right after he finishes that last with the last slot down here, he starts doing this other section on the harmonics and coming down the neck. This time, though, we're not doing in the first one down here. We 12th, um, 10th, 8th, 9th, 7th, 5th, 3rd, and 4th, 1st, and 2nd, and then got well. This sequence down is twice. We're doing half measures. The picking is the same. The fingers are in the same positions, but you skip the seventh fret. And I'll show you. It's like he does a harmonic here first on the uh, second and fourth strings simultaneously. And picks. Here, these two. Okay, so Rush, when he starts this, he, he does the harmonic first, and he does this just the way I just did it. And the second time, I, I believe he just kind of holds it down. He's just going. Like that. It's very simple. I don't I don't do that. I like to pick a little more or whatever. But uh but I just uh I just uh do the either way it's gonna work. Okay. The the um third time through, instead of starting here, you start on the tenth fret and slide up right away. You pick it and slide up on the second string. Come right back down to the tenth. To this, or um, the last time he doesn't do this C chord thing, he just here he comes. Ah. Right to the D. Now, the second, uh, he does that, you know, twice, that whole sequence twice. The, Three times. Second. They're going to go right into the D. And then uh, you're into this next harmonic section. And here you use your index finger. And I, uh, I'll show you. Same way as the first time. So it's pluck, you know, pinch, pull on, on the harmonic and pull off. Pick the first string down to the second again. Slide on the second, pick the first. Slide back down with no picking, then pick. Three times. Then you go 
do this, the harmonic again. that don't slip then it's you slide up without picking double stop two fingers two fingers two strings so it's First and second, first, first and second here, first and second here, and then a harmonic on the second and third strings on the twelfth fret. Do the whole thing slowly. again and then you repeat okay just repeat that again I'll sh I have a variation on that which you probably saw the first time but it's uh Okay. Um, from there, and then he goes you know, down here again, and then you're back at the beginning of the uh, the first sequence coming down up here, and he and Rush slides into this on on the uh, fourth string with his thumb. He I he does, I don't think he picks on the second string here. He could, but he doesn't. He just goes. <laughs> And then starts picking. And so you slide up here. Now you can either you can do a couple of things here. You can slide up, come down here, and on the half measure pull off. It makes it easier to pull off on that half measure because you can move your fingers during that time. But you're always picking at the end of the uh, of each half measure. You're, you're picking that uh, D string down here, the first string. It's like a drone, like a country music uh, pedal steel or whatever. So it's. Uh, Variation on that last slide on the bass string too. You get your C, o, C chord, D. And now you slide up on the sixth. Then on the fifth. I heard a guy on YouTube do that. It sounded pretty good. Okay, whatever you want to do, but stick to Rush's version for simplicity. When you're practicing, play it slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Don't try to rush it. Get it right. Get it right. Doing it slowly, and the speed will come when you're doing it. And you're when you're in practice mode. Of course, you can just you know stop and redo little pieces and stuff. When you're in playing mode, you're going to play it all the way through, even if you make a mistake. But start, like I said, do it slowly, and it should be probably about like this. You know. If you,
thing he does is hit a harmonic on the G string at the 12th fret for the ending. Okay. Um, all those, those little variations, if you wanted to do something a little more sophisticated later, you know, you're coming up here and doing your G coming up. This is a, instead of doing the D here, D7, do the D like this. And then you go to a G down here, three finger G. This is two. This is the same thing you're doing, just with the, normally with different fingers, middle and third, rather than index and second and middle. Uh, and you're using your index finger to catch the third string on the seventh fret. That's a G chord. Okay, so it would sound like this. full D here with three fingers on here to you. The normal two, that's what we usually play, but then put your index finger in there in between them to get the uh, on the same fret. Same for the C chord here, slide them down. And then this is the same. So how did that, didn't work. That's about the whole thing. <laughs> 